Hello, Agent Robertson. The early men are hominids have been invited here today to justify scandalous claims that have been made. We will do this inconspicuously. Not much did the hominids know that the interviewer, Nathan, was a secret agent trying to solve a mystery. Were the commitment of the hominids really helpful to mankind today? Well, we're about to find out. Now Nathan will be interviewing the Australopithecus afarensis. Om nom nom nom. Technical difficulties. Welcome to Random Interviews. Today we will be interviewing hominids. Today we will start off with Australopithecus afarensis. So, did you really contribute to society? Om, 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 om. E, we put it, we love it, we lose it. Uh, we are not from a dot, I am one nine million, I am a god. Um, okay, yeah. We are important because uh, we were the first to be bipeds and music contributed greatly to the study of hominids. If we hadn't been bipedal 2.9 to 3.9 million years ago, you would still be crawling around on your hands and knees. I don't know. I think that's what they're saying. I'll just sit in my corner. Okay, so the Australopithecus did contribute to humans today. Well, now Nathan is going to interview the Homo habilis. I wonder if they have also helped mankind today. Oh, look, it's starting again. Let's watch. You're on the camera. <coughs> nice interview, A.F. Francis. Now we are going to move on to Homo habilis. Here he comes. Mr. Habilis, how are you important to society? Homo habilis, come in now. <coughs> Go, Awa, me, mate. Tools and they are so cool. We love to our point and to our um, point five million years ago. We were big. Okay, so they were apparently the first organisms to learn how to make tools. If they hadn't discovered this 2.5 to 1.5 million years ago, we wouldn't be able to use pots, pencils, hammers, and basically anything except for our hands to do things. Um, well this is going interesting. Okay, my turn to talk. The Homo habilis made the first tools that we have advanced over time. Some we even use today. We also use their concept of tools to make new tools. They are so helpful. Without them, we would have so outdated tools or none at all, and who wants that? In conclusion, the Homo habilis was very helpful to mankind and will always be. Look, the commercial break is over. I think the next one is the Homo erectus. Homo erectus, can you hurry up? Holy, I'm the Homo erectus. We may fire. We give us all oh my God, man. We survived, so we could run, baby, man. We live up for that to walk from that thousand years ago. Oh, okay. So here's what he said. We discovered fire. It kept us warm and helped us survive longer. We had strong, slender bones and could walk and run better. If it weren't for us, you could still walk, but it would take enormous effort and wouldn't be as proficient. Nice, so fire is very important. <coughs> so you did contribute to society. Okay, next hominid, right after this commercial break. After watching that, we can conclude that the Homo erectus did help humans today. They learn how to control fire. Without fire, we can't cook, stay warm, or do many other things. Fire is very important to humans. Without it, life would be very, very scarce. That was that was a good summary, narrator. Okay, Bobby, bring in the next hominid. Welcome, Homo sapiens Neanderthalensis. Hello, we are the Homo sapiens Neanderthalensis. We have 99.7% of the same DNA. We are very detailed and and. Compact tool. We put a lot of concentration in tool. We became anything 40,000 years ago. Huh. The Neanderthals share 99.7% of their basic DNA with us. They began to make even more detailed tools. 
um, that had more thought behind them, such as hand axes In- and... Interesting. So you contributed by improving tools early hobbits made. That helps a lot. Your turn, narrator. That was very interesting. Interesting. So you contributed by improving tools early hominids make. That may, that helps a lot. Your turn, narrator. Looking at the Homo sapiens Neanderthalensis did help humans by making more complex tools. Their brains were developing. That is why the tools were more complex. In addition to the to the other hominids, the Homo sapiens Neanderthalensis was very effective to progressing mankind. I think the Homo sapiens sapiens is next. Look, the show is starting again. Wow. Bobby, bring the last hominid in here. Finally, Homo sapiens sapiens, you can come in. We're pretty much modern than human. We are the wise men. We made even more complex tools than those other people. We are the first artists and we made clothes. We had more culture with art and we kept us warm with clothing. We are less heavy and more developed. They said that they're basically just earning modern humans and start them better this time because they can communicate better. Oh, okay. Wow, you guys did a lot. You make art, clothing, and you still survive today. Amazing! So, now we have interviewed all the hominids. Boppy, you... The Homo sapiens sapiens are pretty much just early modern day humans. Through the progression of all the other hominids, these hominids have less of a complex language, made clothing, learned to make art in different forms, and most importantly, still survive today. I'm surprised we pulled that off inconspicuously. That's pretty much it on random interviews, but let's let Nathan say that. So, we found out that early hominids are not as useless as people think. So, this is the interviews. That's it. So, see you next time, Rarity Interview. Time to see our bloopers. Hello. My name is, um, uh, yeah, uh. Oh, I'm the astral. Oh my goodness. So now we will be interviewing the Astralopithecus afarensis. So, yeah. Boppy, bring in the hominid. Guys, that's the wrong hominid. <laughs> Who cares? Oh my. Oh! Guys, guys, I'm, I'm recording. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Kathy! Yeah, no. Nathan, I'm recording. Oh, God. I, I, I got my line. Oh, no, I forgot my line. Hey, little Mike, you know that. So, and I have some of your snacks because oh, yeah. I'm pretty hungry right now. Mike. So, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I'm really hungry. Yes, yeah. finally. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After years yeah. of asking. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Okay. Did they just propose to each other? <laughs> oh. Let's go back to the set. Come on, Eli. Are you in the scene? 
what scene are we doing again? I like how Nathan's moving his mouth. <laughs> his well, puppet's mouth is moving. Because his puppet's name is Nathan. Oh, yeah. Guys, yeah, <laughs> stop fooling around. We, we have to finish this movie. Oh, yeah, what? social studies. Come okay, on. come on. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, we need so a... in the next scene, we have the Homo sapiens sapiens. Where is... Huh? Where is it? I don't know. Yeah. How does it look? Yeah, do it with the underwear. underwear. The orange underwear. <laughs> oh, this is going amazing. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. What are you, <laughs> guys, I was recording. Oh my gosh, I was recording <laughs> all of it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Stop.